Hire betting experts on Wednesday the 17th of August. We're off to York to the Naismire, the start of the four-day Ebor meeting. Unsettled weather forecast all week, unfortunately. They're very unlucky. We've barely had a drop of rain for months and their big meeting comes around and there are lots of thunderstorms in the weather forecast. So it's difficult to know. We'll watch this first day, see what conditions are like. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the three o'clock. This is the Skybet Great Voltage Stakes. Nearly a mile four group, two class one, three-year-olds only, 130. £13,000 to the winner and I like James Ferguson's progressive Deauville legend. Now this one has had six career starts, winning twice in the frame on three other occasions. He's a strong traveller. He does pull hard in the early stages so he'll need to be dropped out and settled by Daniel Muscat. There should be a decent pace in this race. It's a very good quality group too and they're liable to go a proper gallop which will help Deauville legend. He comes here on the back of a cracking effort in the Gordon Stakes at Goodwood 20 days ago. Again, he was dropped out to settle which he didn't really do for the first three or four furlongs but he ran on really strongly late to take second on the post behind New London it was a really solid run I do think that the flat long galloping York straight will very much suit him if he does settle it's going to be exactly the sort of track he needs he's a proper stayer and he's progressive and there's a lot more to come on turf our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 150 this is the Skybet and Symphony Group handicap a five furlong heritage handicap class two for three-year-olds and that was really good prize money over 50 grand to the win and I think this could be king of stars day he's been running really well he's a really good advert for Mick Appleby he's won five times nine times in the frame from 32 starts he's been running in all the big handicaps all summer generally running with credit I thought he ran an absolute screamer one start back at Ascot under SDS up on this hammer throughout and just denied inside the final furlong it was a cracking run last time at Ascot in the Shergar Cup I don't think his jockey really helped at all so Sylvester's back in the plate here I'm sure King of Stars will be well suited to York he's liable to be on the hammer throughout and that's where you want to be best of luck on Wednesday betting experts